Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me on another Create a Card Monday. And today's project is, is going to be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to show you the Witching Decor Project Kit. And the reason why I wanted to show you the kit is, first of all, it's just um, absolutely adorable um, home decor, especially for the upcoming holidays. Uh, I wanted to show you um, my kit and just wanted to say how fun and easy it is to put together. But I also wanted to show you all of the leftover pieces that you will have uh, once you've completed the, um, the project. And that's what I'm gonna be using to make my um, card today. So, um, and this isn't gonna show very well because my camera is a little too close um, to the table. So I'm gonna insert some pictures so you can get a, a full view. But um, this is the project and I'm gonna, let's see, so let's see if this is gonna work. Uh, probably not very well. Um, I mean, obviously you can see what the hat looks like here. This is the, uh, the picture that comes with the kit, but I'll show you some of the up close pieces and then like I said I'm going to insert some pictures of this kit and I'll, that will help you out. So what I did here is um, I'm using the Witch's Night stamp set. Now this is extra, this does not come with the kit, but um, what I did to uh, give the leaves some dimension, um, I used this Argyle stamp and then the spider web. So you can see that how I did that and then I just sponged the leaves um, around the edges with soft suede. So the colors that come in this kit are uh, Tangelo Twist, Crumb Cake, um, Cajun Craze, Delightful Dijon, I think that's what that is, and then black, basic black, and then very vanilla. So you can see, uh, so you just stamp all the leaves, sponge around them, and then just string the leaves through uh, with the baker's uh, or the the natural thread that comes with the kit and then you just kind of you know just place them around however you want this is a really sturdy uh, cardboard base I don't know if you'll be able to see how thick it is but so it's it's chipboard covered with this black embossed um, pattern paper uh, it's a spider web the same paper that you see here on the the witch's hat and so then um, you just kind of, here's a little jingle bell, all distressed, old looking jingle bell. But I just wanted to say, this was just a really fun kit. It, I put it together, um, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before last. It was a rainy, yucky day. College football was on. And so I just sat at the table, kitchen table, and I just had a great time. So anyway, that's that. But I'm going to show you all of the product that I have left over, and I thought it would be fun to make a Halloween card. So um, this it gives you a sponge, but I didn't use that because I had other sponges. Um, so this is my first attempt. I didn't do a very good job, so I could very easily just flip this over, but I'll put that off to the side. So these are all the leaves that I have left over um, that I can use for, um, you know, either a fall project, another Halloween project, you know, whatever I want to um, use. So I have all that left over. These are some fun little um, banners and the little 31 pieces that match um, is what I used right here, the 31 on the on that Halloween banner. So I have all this left over, and then and then these are the banner pieces that I have left, or not the banner pieces, but the labels I should say. And then um, ah, this is all tangled up. Uh, this is the little paper fringe that goes around the, uh, the hat. So I have that, so I can use this on some kind of fun project. I have one of the spider doilies, spider web doilies. So I can, you know, cut this apart and use this. And then these are um, uh, two double-sided. And so I've got um, six, I have eight of these left. So this is what I used on the on the uh, 
fact, this label onto that label. So you can see, I mean, you're, and this kit is $22. The stamp set, um, like I said, that's extra, that's $26. So um, if you have kids who like to do projects, oh, and also these um, black rhinestones. If you have kids who like to do craft projects, I highly recommend this kit. Like I said, it wasn't hard to do. Um, it wasn't hard to put together. Uh, you know, the majority of the time is going to be, you know, stamping the leaves and sponging around them. So, you know, if you and your, your kids like to do that, you can just, you know, divide them up and say, you know, here, this is your pile, this is my pile, and you'll be, um, you'll be finished in no time. All right, so I'm gonna be making a card and I am going to be using the, um, the Witch's Night stamp set. I'm gonna use this stamp again. And I'm also going to be using our new um, Happy Hauntings, Hauntings Designer Series paper. So I thought that I would show that to you if you haven't seen this. This is on page, grab it, let's see. It's in the back of the catalog. This is on page 47 of the holiday catalog. And if you have not gotten a copy of this holiday catalog, let me know and I will get one out to you. So I'm gonna be using this designer series paper and then also I'll show you where the kit is. I should have said that also. The kit's in the front of the catalog on page seven. So here's the kit and then here's the stamp set. And don't forget that I still have the Hostess Code giveaway going on. So um, for every $25 that you spend, you get um, one entry. So um, this would definitely qualify for that. So the Hostess Code information will be um, attached in the notes below this video. And then you can also go on over to my uh, blog and look up today's um, post. So today is uh, September 14th. 2015 and then my blog is www.istampin.com so I'm just going to go through real quick and show you the double-sided paper designer series paper so the colors here are black very vanilla and tangelo twist so a fun ghosts so you get two double-sided um, pieces of designer series paper in each design. So this is tombstones with um, black crows sitting atop of them. And then this is a fun little geometric design with uh, little jack-o'-lantern smiles, if you can make that out. And then a fun spider web with spiders hanging down. And then this is a really nice geometric so there's a real thin tangelo twist um, color that's inside those diamonds and this could definitely be used um, once Halloween has passed I mean this would be a nice paper just to have just to use anytime okay and then this fun stars again another piece of paper that you could use for a variety of occasions and then I love this dots I love anything polka dots Kind of I showed you that one. And then this is, it looks almost like a fan type design, but these are actual bats. And then a nice stripe. So that is the Happy Hauntings collection. And I am using um, Tangelo Twist as my card base. And this is another nice feature that um, started with Stampin' Up! that came out in our annual catalog, is you can get the um, card stock pack. So for every designer series paper collection that we have, they, um, in the catalog, you'll see here that they offer um, a variety pack of the three colors that are in the designer series paper. So. Um, you can just have this and then have enough card bases to be able to use with the designer series paper, which is really nice. So this is going to be my card base today. So like I said, this is Tangelo Twist. I've cut this at five and a half by four and a quarter, and then I scored it again at four and a quarter. And then I used my bone folder to give it a good uh, crease on that scored edge. All right. 
So I'm just going to make sure that it's even on both sides. Okay. And then just press it down. And with these large stamps, you want to make sure you're giving good pressure all the way around. It is photopolymer, so if for some reason we didn't get a good impression, you can always go back, but hopefully we did it right the first time. All right, there we go. Okay, there's a little bit of, I didn't quite get it good enough, but you know, I'm okay with that because it is Halloween and uh, you know, it's kind of nice to have that distressed look. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my soft suede ink and I'm using just, um, what I did here is I just cut a, qu a quarter of the sponge and then I use that to sponge around the label. So you just take your sponges if you have those and you haven't cut them, just um, cut them in half and then cut the, the halves in half again for quarters and then that gives you a nice little size wedge to do your sponging. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that little 31 from the kit and I'm just going to pop it up right there. This is in the delightful Dijon and I'm gonna use a dimensional. Just needs one. Okay, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to take the um, rhinestones from the kit as well. So I'm gonna take the rhinestones and use my little paper piercer to pick them up and just put them on the edge of the banner. And I'm just kind of putting it right over that little club sign, little icon. And that's helping me make sure that they're both kind of even. All right. And then what I'm gonna do next is grab one of these labels. I'm gonna use the um, black and craft side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off. Then I'll be able to use the other end on another project. So it's going to go just like that. Okay, so I'm going to use the little spider web doily and I'm going to cut this in half as well because I don't need all of this and I can use this on another card. So it's going to go like this. And then this is going to be peeking out. So I need to glue all this down. So this is going to be peeking out. And then I'm going to use the banners. Um, let's see, I think I'll use these two. I'm going to put banners on either side of the, the label. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down first. And I'm going to use the, the fine tip glue pen, which is in our annual catalog. It's perfect for projects like this, for these real intricate type designs. A little bit goes a long way. This is a watery glue, so you don't need a whole lot. 
or I should say you don't have to press down a whole lot because it comes out pretty easily. And if you haven't seen this, it has this uh, really fine tip like applicator and the way it stays um, clog free is there's this little needle that's in the cap that you just want to make sure that you um, put back into the applicator when you're done and then the lid just screws on. All right, so I'm going to bring the Tangelo Twist card base back in. Center this on the card. Okay. Press that down. And this glue does dry clear, so if for any reason if it kind of oozes out, it will dry clear. And then I'm going to put this banner on, and I'm not quite sure. How do I... I'm not quite sure how much I want showing. Let's see. I think that looks... I think that looks good. So I'm just going to use Snail for this. I've got my fast fuse. Okay. And then I'm just going to use um, some fast fuse to attach these banners together. So I just want a little bit of the delightful Dijon peeking out. Okay, do that on the other side. And so then I'm just going to put those on either side. And those are just going to peek out just a little bit. And what I did is I lined up where the rhinestone is with the little notch on these banners. Okay, do the same to the other side. And if you have any questions over any of the products that I used, you know, please don't hesitate to contact me by email or commenting on the video. I'd be more than happy to assist you. And then also, um, my Ice Stampin' Club, I had announced that a couple of weeks ago, and I have the first club already full, so I've got six members already signed up, so thank you so much to those that have signed up. And I'm taking names for my second group, so um, if you are interested in signing up for my Ice Stampin' Club, you can find out the details on my blog. Uh, you would just go to www.istampin.com and then on the menu bar you can just um, click on the iStampin Club and you can find out all the details. I've got a fun uh, grab bag for everyone who signs up. And um, the first club will start in October, so hopefully if I have enough ladies that are interested, or men, I shouldn't just say ladies, that are interested um, for the second club, um, hopefully I can get that going in October as well. So all the details, like I said, are on my blog. All right, so I just put dimensionals on the back of this little panel, and then we're just going to pop this up. And we will have made a fun Halloween card. Let's see here. using the leftover supplies from the witching decor kit. How cute is that? I hope you enjoyed today's project. And like I said, that is using the supplies from the witching decor project kit. You can find this in our, in, uh, excuse me, holiday catalog. So 
not only do you get a fun uh, decor piece for your house, but you can also make some fun, cute Halloween cards. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting my channel. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, share this with your friends. Uh, I truly appreciate it. And you know what? I think I'm going to sponge around the card. I just noticed that it needs a little bit of distressing. So I'm just going to finish it off by sponging. <laughs> you thought I was done. So. There we go. I think that gives it a little bit more softer look than that harsh Tangelo twist. There we go. Now it's done. <laughs> All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.